What's going on, YouTube Frost here? I hope you guys are doing well. We know you've heard of skill-based matchmaking, but have you heard of skill-based hit detection and damage? Yes, this is the new conspiracy theory being parroted in the Call of Duty community. I first read about this from Modern Warzone on Twitter, and then I decided to do some research for myself. And this is really something that people believe. Now, I, for one, 100% believe that skill-based matchmaking is a problem. It is something that has negatively affected Call of Duty and has negatively affected other games as well. But I do not for one second believe in skill-based hit detection or damage. That sounds absolutely insane. For what reason would you have that? <laughs> it just seems like an overcomplication of something. An overcomplication of everything. Could you imagine an algorithm taking all that info every single time and saying, well, because you're a better player than this person, you're going to have worse hit detection and less damage than somebody else. <laughs> like, that is a new level of tinfoil hat. That's a new level of not accepting that you're just not as good as you think you are. And yeah, we all have that ego behind us when it comes to video games. We all think we're really good. Myself included. But there's sometimes you just have to accept that the person you're playing against has a better gaming chair, the person you're playing against is more of a nerd than you are, and the person you're playing against hasn't seen the sunlight in several weeks. That's the truth. Sometimes people just get the best of you. Sometimes the connection doesn't work your way. Sometimes it's a video game and random stuff happens. Does it frustrate you? Does it infuriate you? 100%. And I get it. I've been there too. Video games can be frustrating. They're definitely humbling as well. And maybe it's time for you to take a nice sweet slice of humble pie and eat it. And understand that the game isn't necessarily out to get you. Yes, sometimes it feels that way. We've all had those intrinsic thoughts. But the reality is the game isn't out to get you. That's not what's happening. Now, if we want to flip the conversation over to skill-based matchmaking, I think there's a real debate to have there and whether or not it's a good thing or a bad thing. But skill-based damage and hit detection would just make the game infinitely less stable, less enjoyable, and frankly would be a nightmare on the back end for developers to try to control. Skill-based matchmaking, a little bit easier. You have a bunch of algorithms that input a or take in a bunch of data. But to real-time have data player-to-player -player on hit detection and damage, that's like such a massive amount of load that needs to happen every single game that I just don't think it's feasible. I don't think it's realistic. Now, if it were to come out to be true, yeah, I would say it's a problem. I would say that it's something that would need to get fixed, something that would need to get changed, the same way that I say it about skill-based matchmaking. But let's separate truth and fiction here. Let's talk about the reality of skill-based matchmaking instead of the fiction behind skill-based hit detection and skill-based damage. Because if you want to drown out the conversation surrounding skill-based matchmaking with this nonsense, with a parody of it, you're going to completely lose the plot with people to believe that skill-based matchmaking is a problem. Stop trying to create more noise around a situation that has a very clear solution to it. Skill-based matchmaking is very easy to solve, very easy to fix, but if we continue to try to create it to be such a bigger problem than it is and add things onto it for no reason, you're not going to help anyone's cause. You're not going to pull anybody to your side. If you think there's skill-based matchmaking, hit detection, and damage, and that's what you're parroting online, people are just going to tune you out. They're going to pretend you don't exist. They're going to listen to you and think that you're an absolute moron, which means your arguments lose their merit. But if you want to come onto the internet and have a concise argument for or against skill-based matchmaking, I think that people would have more time for that. So get rid of the conspiracy theories. Get rid of these random thought processes that you have. Get rid of your excuses for losing a gunfight in a video game that no one cares about. And make logical arguments. I know that's asking a lot from the internet to make logical arguments. But maybe you should make logical arguments. Skill-based hit detection and damage is not a logical argument. It's not real. It's the boogeyman. Like, no. <laughs> I get that it's spooky season, it's October, and people want to be scared of things. But, like, this is not something to be scared of. This is not something to concern yourself with. This is definitely not something that matters. It's not real. Okay? 
You can check under your bed. You know what you're going to find? Skill-based matchmaking. You know what you're not going to find? The other two things I've talked about in this video. Okay? Skill-based matchmaking is real. Hit detection and damage skill-based matchmaking is not real. Okay? Let's separate fact and fiction here. That's all I want to talk about in this video. That's all I wanted to get off my chest because honestly, as a community, we have to come together to fight problems. We can't start making up other ones. Okay? So if we want to see skill-based matchmaking fixed, let's focus on that argument. Let's focus on that issue at hand. Let's not try to branch off into conspiracy theory land and pretend there's these big bad things out there. No. I'm not here for it. And honestly, if you're somebody who supports that, somebody who parrots that, I I just don't know why you'd believe that. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for today's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Are you on the side of skill-based... <laughs> it's so silly. Are you on the side of skill-based damage and hit detection? Or are you on the other side that believes it's complete fiction and not true in the slightest? Would love to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I don't know why I find this so comical, but I do. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys very much for watching and supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.